So what is going on guys? It's Noology. Welcome back to the channel for another awesome WWE Supercard video. But not only am I going to be talking about Supercard in this video, but I'm also going to be talking about the No Mercy pay-per-view that is going to happen tomorrow night. So I wanted to give you guys my match predictions and all of that good stuff. And um, I'd love to hear your guys' match predictions as well down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys agree with my predictions as well. Remember, if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, to hit it with a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on the bell notification as well for more awesome videos like this. Um, now, we do have a platinum pack that I'm going to be opening in this video. Uh, my girlfriend does have one here. Um, so I will get into that in just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to be proing her elite Seth Rollins as well. So let's actually get into that first really quick. Oh wait, they're in the wild mode deck. Okay, so I gotta take them out of the wild mode deck. Alright guys, so here we go. We're gonna get ready to pro Seth Rollins. So let's just take a quick look at his total matches and make sure they're all played. Okay, so 40, 40, 40, 40, 20. And all of his tokens are placed down, so very nice. Let's take a look at the other Seth Rollins now. And let's see, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20. Okay, he's all good too. And all of his tokens are placed down as well, so very nice. Let's get ready to pro Seth Rollins. So here we go, combine them, yes. And he is now a pro, so very nice, guys. Um, I really love the animated flame background on the Elite cards once you pro them. I think that looks really cool. Um, so yeah, that's really nice, guys. Seth Rollins pro on my girlfriend's account. Um, now I would like to get into talking about my No Mercy match predictions. So let's get into that, guys. So the first match that I wanted to talk about was the Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar match for the WWE Universal Championship. Now, I feel like Brock Lesnar is still going to walk out of No Mercy as the Universal Champion. And why I feel this is because I heard he's supposed to retain the title and keep the title, actually, up until WrestleMania. So I still feel like that's going to happen. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like Braun Strowman is going to give Brock Lesnar a run for his money. Hands down, he's going to be one of his toughest competitors yet. And um, I definitely think it's going to be a really good matchup. But I still think Brock Lesnar is going to walk out still the Universal Champion. Now, we have John Cena versus Roman Reigns to prove who the top dog is in the WWE today. I feel like Roman Reigns is going to get a one-up over John Cena. And why I feel this is because Roman Reigns is made to look strong. They always make Roman Reigns look strong, and the best way to do that is by putting him over John Cena. Um, John Cena usually buries people, but if Roman Reigns beats John Cena, that's going to make Roman Reigns look really strong, and um, they're all about making Roman Reigns look really strong. We all know this. Now, we have the women's championship match, Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks versus Nia Jax versus Emma versus Bailey. Now this is one of those matches I honestly can't tell you or can't give you a good prediction for because I just don't know. There's too many good competitors in this match that have, you know, a good shot at actually winning this championship. Now, would it be nice for Nia Jax to finally win the title? I think so because they've been kind of teasing Nia Jax for quite some time now uh, to become the women's champion. Uh, so we'll definitely see what happens there but honestly guys i don't really have a prediction for this match just because there's too many good competitors and there's too many people or too many things that i could see happening with this match so i just can't give you a straightforward answer with it all right guys so up next we have the wwe tag team championship match dean ambrose and seth rollins versus sheamus and cesaro now i have this weird feeling in my gut that possibly sheamus and cesaro could recapture back the tag team championships i don't know what it is i know the ratings haven't been the best lately for wwe and people love to see titles change hands so i do have a feeling that sheamus and cesaro have a strong chance of actually winning back those championships but don't worry even if that happens i'm pretty sure that dean ambrose and seth rollins will recapture back the titles at a future pay-per-view but let me know your predictions down below for that match i'd love to hear from all of you guys and now that I think about it, if they were smart, I have a good idea to boost ratings. So say Sheamus and Cesaro do beat Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose for the Tag Team Championships. Say then at the next pay-per-view, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins get an assist from the big dog himself, helping them recapture back the Tag Team Championships, reforming the Shield again. How do you guys feel about that? Do you guys think that's a good idea? I think it is, and I think it would definitely help them boost ratings. So up next, 
we have the Intercontinental Championship match, The Miz versus Jason Jordan. Now, I do feel like The Miz is going to retain his Intercontinental Championship. And why I feel this is because The Miz is actually going on to be one of the longest reigning Intercontinental Champions of all time. And I don't think they're going to, you know, break The Miz's record just yet. So that's why I feel like The Miz will retain the Intercontinental Championship. We have the rematch, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. I know the last time the Demon Finn Balor defeated Bray Wyatt, but I do feel like just normal Finn Balor is also going to defeat Bray Wyatt. Um, I don't know, I guess you could consider Bray Wyatt like a jobber now. That's just how I feel. There's a lot of hype behind Finn Balor, so I do feel like Finn Balor will pick up another win over Bray Wyatt. Alright guys, and then up next, we have Enzo Amore versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. I feel like this is a good opportunity to give Enzo Amore a big push, so I definitely feel like Enzo Amore will walk out the new Cruiserweight Champion. Hey guys, I see another match for the kickoff show. It's Apollo Crews versus Elias Sampson, I guess. Honestly, who cares? I'm going to go with Elias Sampson on this one. Um, honestly, this just really doesn't matter anyways. All right, guys. Now on to the really good stuff here. I'm going to open up my girlfriend's platinum pack on her account, so I'm really excited to see who she gets. Hopefully, you guys are all excited too. So here we go. We got the champion rewards. Let's claim it up and see who she gets. And uh, they did really good there. So let's see. Let's see who she gets. Oh my gosh, she got, <laughs> she got James Ellsworth. <laughs> He's like one of the worst WrestleMania 33 cards in the tier. Wow. I still haven't gotten a James Ellsworth yet. Not one. Not one James Ellsworth. Um, but that's pretty funny. James Ellsworth, guys. Seriously, that's, that's pretty funny. Alright, she got her battle points as well. She got an Elite Becky Lynch. So very cool. Very awesome, and an ultimate Jey Uso. Alright guys, so Becky Lynch was a pro for my girlfriend, so that's really cool guys. She does have two of them, so that's super awesome. This will definitely help her out. Becky Lynch for the pro. But anyways guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and turn on the bell notification as well for more awesome videos like this. But I'm Newology, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'm out for now. Peace.